Alright, this is a weekly reading for Scorpio. I'm going to read your channeled messages first because there's quite a lot of them. Um, one or two of these might resonate for you, or none of these might resonate for you. If it's more than two, then you're going to have a busy week. But um, let's get into the channeled messages, and then we'll get into the reading, alright? So we have a activist, an um, international lawyer, an aid worker. We have um, wanting to protect the innocent, loving someone like a mother would a son. Um, it could also be a mother or a son, or both, that kind of... Uh, situation. Let's see. There's a life force healing um, total uh, sexual romp. So there could be somebody here that's, you know, just having fun. Uh, let's see. You balance each other perfectly. Repairs needed for your house. Strict laws. Um, strong legal team. Uh, Helping others, hardship making you stronger. So there's there's a lot going on here. It could be from one extreme to the next, literally. So let's get into the first card, which is going to be you right now, which is going to be the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is confidence, action, self-assured, uh, goes for things that they want, um, quick moving defending beliefs, shakes things up, and is impulsive. So you might kind of want to get things done and, you know, do your own thing or whatever it may be you're doing. You're taking it 100% in your soul and doing it or you're emotionally attached to it in some way, shape, or form. So you're, you're going for it, okay? Um, so number two, we have the week's theme, which is the sun. The sun is, uh, you know, um, could be a marriage, joy, happy relationship, happy family, success, celebration, positivity, trips abroad, um, help with health or fertility. So there's, there's something here that like needs to be, you know, like emotional support, having, um, help from people around you, or soul tribe, or maybe a doctor, you know, um, you might want to start a family, or you might want to, uh, start something that's, you know, that you really need to. <laughs> it could be a business, or it could be a baby, it could be that type of thing, or it could be home improvements, okay? So, whatever have you, it sounds like a good idea. Alright, so number three, we have Challenge of the Week. The challenge is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is generous, best of the best, good-natured, good-intentioned, is based in reality, earthy, um, financial security, practicality, and creature comforts. So it could just be like you're trying to settle everything but it's kind of like when you fix one thing it's another thing right so it's it's going to constantly be a cycle until you can finally sit down and be comfortable in your house or be comfortable in a situation or just be comfortable <laughs> i feel like that might be a problem for a lot more than just uh scorpios so it's just like you need to chill um, because there's too many energies going on around you, so I think it's better that you take a breather every now and again, or you kind of dismiss yourself from any high-pressure things, so then you can, like, ease into it instead of going from one extreme to the next, you know. It's not healthy, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel good having your heart go from one extreme to the other, especially when you're, you know... Um, overthinking things. If you overthink things and then you try to do something, it, it kind of works against you where it takes more time than it's needed. So, you know, cleaning my room, that's basically what happened. Um, but yeah, I cleaned, I cleaned most of it, and then, like, the rest of it I still have to sort it and see if I need to take it to Goodwill or what. But we'll see. 
Anyway, so number four. Number four is Lesson to Remember. This is an element from your past. We have a Strength card. So, um, remaining strong, compassionate, caring for others, uh, focus, bravery, finding your inner strength, um, inner strength in general, um, having a strong sense of, or a song, a strong sense of responsibility. So, from your past, you probably were very strong. Maybe you, you kind of did your own thing. Maybe you were a self-starter. Maybe you left your parents' house earlier on. Whatever the case was, you were very, like, you know, your own person. You didn't have to have anybody tell you, like, oh, you need to do this or you need to do that. It was very self-propelling. You are just like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to leave. Um, or I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And it happened. It wasn't just talk. It was, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to stop until I have it. So, um, let's see. We have number five. <sighs> number five is going to be a lesson that you will learn this week, which is justice. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh, justice is like, it's not the worst card, like, but it's not the best card. Um, for a weekly reading, it's kind of a little bit severe. Um, but it's, it's not the worst card to have. Anyway, um, so we have justice. Justice in right side right, but it looks upside down. Um, so you will get what you deserve for the better. Um, positive legal outcome. Cause and effect, clarity, truth, um, uh, good contracts and commitments made. So there's, uh... There could be a court case, or there could be, like, some type of thing that needs to be settled. It could be, uh, like, child custody or something to that effect, or a divorce, or, um, some, some type of thing. You know, it's the, uh, I can't really think of them now, but there's a lot going on with the legal sector right now. It's just ridiculous. Anyway. So, let's see, we have number six, which is gift you give yourself this week, which is going to be the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is an amazing love life, need, poverty, security, um, good partnership, loyalties, friendship, and fulfilling uh, lifestyle, let's see, happiness, and the affairs of the heart. So depending if you're inside or you're outside in this picture, um, it depends on your situation where you see yourself. So it, it could be that a few of you are out on this side trying to make ends meet and then the rest of you are inside being alright but still kind of worrying about tomorrow. So it, it could be a bit of both or you could be happy in your situation and that's fine. But it depends of where you're at. I don't f feel like too many people are comfortable in their current situation. So it might be like out here right now trying to get food and stuff. But you're trying to get back into the house. Alright, so you can chill out and relax, okay? So you're not living paycheck to paycheck or constantly on edge about something, you know. Anyway, thank you um, Scorpio. Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully, if you're fixing anything in your house, um, it, it works efficiently. I had to get a new air conditioner for my mom. It was fun. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's more... It, it feels more of like a natural feel. It's one of those HV... AC systems where it kind of filters out from one end of the house to the other. It feels a lot cleaner and it's it's pretty good. I just need to change the filters every so often, but it's it's a pretty good um it's a pretty good system and I don't feel like my nose is clogged anymore. <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But it's, um, yeah, it's a good system. So if you're fixing a air conditioner uh, and you're in the United States, I would probably go for Brothers um, Air and Heating. But, like, it was a fair deal. It was, like, in the middle of the road. I didn't want something too cheap. I didn't want anything too expensive. 
Um, I just wanted something that was going to work, and if um, I needed upgrades, I could get upgrades. But um, I feel like a lot of other companies kind of want to sell you on like the biggest package they have. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I knew what I wanted and they were kind of wanting to sell me on something else. I had already made up my mind and, you know, I asked them. I, I was like, I just want this system because it would work for my house and how it's laid out. Because my house is kind of big. It's like a medium a single family household, but it's, it needs filtration or it gets like stagnant air. It's like a weird stagnant air kind of deal. So if you're really looking for a good air system, it's an HVAC system from Brothers. And, you know, I got the upgrade, but <laughs> you don't have to. They have so many different ones that it's cool. Anyway, um, Scorpio, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.